Welcome back to Let's Play Mad Max. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time, I traveled out to Gut Gash's territory and got the lay of the land. Now, it's time to get the armor we need to finish the jack. Yeah, screw it. I took a tiny sliver off. We're fine. Like, check it. Get out there and fix it. Understood. Polished the slightest dent out. See a wreck. Piss. People see an ark. That'll save them for when the water returns. They protect what's theirs. Tooth and nail. Gut Gash's stronghold. Gut Gash's stronghold is built out of the remains of an old steel ship in the Parch Moon region. I see a flaw with this plan for the Ark to save them, I just noticed, um, but never mind that. He has convinced his people that the waters will once more come back to the Great White, and that they will then sail out of this nightmare on, in their ship. Gut Gash has them working hard to get the ship back into condition, but as a safety measure, all of these efforts also serve to fortify the ship's hull against any attacks, should the Deluge not come. Oh. That's funny, I know I read that one. I made a special thing just to insert that. Balefire Flatland Region. This flatland is Jeet's domain, and it holds Jeet's strong fire, stronghold, Balefire. It used to be steadily patrolled by Jeet's scavengers, but now it is all but overtaken by Scrotus's warbands. This is the heart of Gutgash's territory. <coughs> Excuse me. And it is here you will find Gutgash's ship stronghold. The place once abounded with Gutgash's own scavengers, but now is lousy, what is now lousy with Scrotus's warbands. That's the only person I know who actually uses the phrase lousy with. I am uh, pleased by that. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, oh, the last tool was the thunder stick. A long rod or stick fitted with an explosive device on one end, rigged to detonate on impact. Thunder sticks are popular range weapons for Scrotus warboys. Surely there should be like an apostrophe after Scrotus or something? A well-placed thunderstick into the chest of a close enemy is a guaranteed, albeit bloody, kill. Nice. So, I'm guessing, you know, extrapolating from that, that the Thunder Poon is that weapon, except fired from this gun. Oh god. How the fuck do I get up there? Forget that whimpering and the devious suckling face. <laughs> oh, dead a dozen times if you do, boy. We've come to deal. 
Uh, nothing else. I got gas. So pitch me, little man. Or I'll make a blood sport of your driver here. Oh, he's no ordinary driver. This one, no. You sent to me by the angel cooking rust yourself. Angel, we parlay with the water gods here. We desire to, to make way to the dead baron. My sanctum. My sanctum is, is destroyed. It's burned. Everything I have is gone. Gone. I, I have nothing left. And please, this car needs healing, she does, and, and strengthening. Yes, and if, if you let us stay here and, and rebuild, then, then I offer to you these uh, hands of a black finger. Yes. You'll have one chance for me. Oh, oh. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, B. Thanks, B. Is there something I should know, chum? I need welding wire to do my work. Make do for now. I'll find your welding wire. Out there, the ocean waits. Ready to come a-crashing and cover these lands anew. We will be ready then. The gales of glory will fill our sails. I don't remember the voice actor's name at this moment. It's kind of a mental blank. But, uh, I'm pretty certain that's the guy who voiced War from Darksiders. I was right. They're both Liam O'Brien. Gutgash is the leader of the Rust Bastion, a stranded ship turned into a stronghold. Gutgash suffers like everyone else near Gastown from the recent surge in aggressions from Stank Gum. He leads his people with a rare combination of intimidation and cult-like manipulation. God damn it, me. Ah, he has everyone in his stronghold, a rusting hull of a ship, believing that they are preparing the vessel for when the waters come back and cover the seabed that is the Great White. He speaks of this so much that he sometimes believes it himself. But most of all, he believes in survival. He will do anything to stay afloat. Nice metaphor. Including dealing directly with the marauders from Gastown. He knows of Chum Bucket, and he recognizes him as a skilled mechanic, but he does not trust him. Let me guess. All the usual stuff. Let's not harvest that just yet. These guys have even less reason to trust me than Jeet's guys, and they still hate me after giving them water. That's a cage full of people. Oh no. Welding wire. Maybe you should have asked, man. I'm just I'm just saying. So there's an option on the main menu, uh, connect, double, was it WB Games account? Nice. Well, I can just do that, can't I? I hit the buton. God damn it, they're right there. I must have this shiny collectible. Oh god, someone's even made a little... No. Yoink. What on earth is this thing? Well, that's just sad. Surely there'd be motorcycles in the post-apocalypse. If Gut Gas is fool enough to trust you, deal the fuck with him! Eat me. No, we don't trust him. He got no death run one. Oh, God damn it. 
Well, shit, now I get it. Now we're talking about, like, oh, he hasn't even done a crow run. Or run the crow, or whatever the wording was. I just assumed that would be a story thing. Not really much of a racing kind of guy, but... Yeah, this is the one. I think this doesn't... I, I, either doesn't appear, or it doesn't work. Unless you have the uh, WB Games account uh, signed up. I created one back uh, when I played... What was it? Batman Arkham Origins? So, uh... I, th I thought I might as well. Armor! Baby bars. Single rail, huh? Almost like we seek to protect our most beloved from the many defilers of these wasted lands. Almost like we cared about our magnum opus. You don't need to neg me, dude. Yeah, look at that. Acceleration and handling both take a hit from that. Oops. Oh, okay, yeah, those are the baby bears. A Wasteland Classic. Chum Bucket calls it the Jack, and to me, it's one step closer to the car I need. Gas Town remains the goal, but we are not ready just yet. Magnum Opus, consecrated corpus of the angel combustion. Your guise is now that of the Jack. <laughs> Complete, radiant, deadly, and ready for anything. It won't be complete until we get the V8 from Gastown. Indeed. Indeed, yeah. And maybe, maybe not even that. <laughs> Careful, friend. It was that kind of greed that led to the end of the old world. Okay, uh, I'm going to beam back over here. Let me see, let me see. Sniper. I'm trying to remember what the low... Oh, that one, yeah. No star rating or anything. Do they have different names? No, just... Oh, yeah, it's Crazy Racy. Corner Cut. I'm just wondering if the thing with the crow in the name was actually a specific one. <clears throat> well, maybe it's up here. I don't know. Um, fine. I will... Wow, it's right there. Okay, let's do that. What's there while I'm here? A maggot farm part, but the other one is in a top dog camp. So, okay, fine. But yeah, I'm thinking to myself that uh, motorcycles are more lightweight than cars. They're much more maneuverable than cars. They can get through, like, crap left on the paths and such. Yeah, and they use less gas, right, yes, because it's a much smaller engine. What am I looking for? Uh, me. That's right. Ammo belt. Can I? No, I cannot. I have to be a gas guzzler before I can improve the ammo belt. Ooh, la -ti da Next upgrade. Oh, there's just a bunch of looks. Okay. No, oh no, you can't preview the ones you can't get. Fine. Thinking about peeking. Uh, missing anything? No. Excellent. The Jack. Oh, good. This is happening. Uh. Crazy Racy. We call it the Death Run. You go crazy racy between the dunes yonder. Then look to your left, or you might pause and ponder. Should you take the bold jump, or buckle under? 
You head up the hill through the sweeping curves, you dri drive like Jehu with rattled nerves to the final steep ascension up to Balefire, where you'll win the cup. The things I goddamn do. Keep an eye out. No surprises. No? There's gonna be something but this. I can't just do the driving thing. Are you in charge? No. He doesn't give a shit. Uh, uh, what's happening? Lo, here comes a wanderer. I, Crow Dazzle, welcome you to the circle of light. To the circle of the brave, the skilled and the quick. You've come very far. And with a great hunger. But are you one who seeks to win a name for himself? Or who wishes to bind to the heart of his machine? Or are you both? What are you saying? Racing, son, is a many splendid thing. There are some who come to Crow Dazzle for the glory to beat the baddest the wasteland can muster and have their names ring out in fireside tales of bravery for ages to come others are on the path of the spirit they seek the death run to bind their beings to their machines what's your wish here Oh my god, really? I kind of want to try the explosive one. Oh, oh. Oh, that's why they have a Griffin logo on them in the uh, vehicle bios screen. Fine. No. Follow the red paint, I guess. Oh, yeah. Smoke. Ah! My God damn. Ah. Hatred. Fuck. I'm doing terribly. boost in this thing, and I'm almost dead. <laughs> Holy fuck. Of course I picked up an NPC. There is an option in the options menu that says, uh, oh, well, now I'm done. Did we start or anything? Let's blow up. There's an option in the options menu somewhere that asks whether or not you want a helper on for vehicle rolling. It's on by default, so I just left it. I'm guessing that what that means is you cannot, uh, run out of, uh, no. Yeah, I know that. I didn't leave. I got blown out of it by an explosion. Excuse me. Damn, 
was I saying? Ah, I'm all agitated and distracted. There's the timer. Excuse me. Ooh, kaboom bug. If I get close, these babies go f whoops, flame boom all over your weak ride. These enemy vehicles defy explanation. They seem to be designed solely to sacrifice themselves. <clears throat> to blow up an enemy. Getting close to them is always bad news. Clear ranged attacks are of the essence. Shooting these kaboom bugs from afar is the only defense against their explosive attacks. Great. I don't think they're turning around. Stay off the gas. Someone is sniping me. Is that the sniper? I don't know if I can finish with a dead tire. Working on it. Oh, I'm spinning out. It's almost like that's a totally predictable effect of, uh... Oh, losing a tire. And here comes the storm! No! Okay, this sucks. Oh my god. I'm burning dog face, so I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Mad Max and we deal with this bullshit. <laughs>